good to see you. the new thief. I am your new doyen. I have a special request from the widow of a former fence in Leowin. As your new doyen, I am asking you to help her. A street scavenger made off with a ring that the widow Adarji values highly. She is offering a reward. The guild frowns on freelance thieves. Are you willing to go to Leowin? Find the ring and get it back to Adarji. This is good. Go to Leowin, speak with Adarji, and help her find her ring. Good hunting. Hello, journeyman. Let's hear it.
might use. I. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. She lives on the west side of town. She is fond of the three sisters in the evening, but takes her midday meal at the Five Claws. Thank you, kind lady. Blessings of the Shadow. To the Why does the prey approach me? Yes, a filthy Argonian stole my precious ring. It was a gift from my mate. It has sentimental value. I will pay well. The stupid lizard hunts with the name Amusai. Find him, find my ring. Make him suffer. Kill him and I will be pleased. Stupid guild rules. He is only an Argonian. He is less than human and much less than Khajiit. If you must spare him, at least make him suffer. Swift hunting. I'm so hungry. A poor bugger was arrested. Seems he tried to swindle the Countess. He's rotting in a cell in the castle dungeon now. It's common knowledge that the jailers can be bribed to allow visitors to see prisoners. Thank you, kind lady. Blessings of the shadow upon you. Hello. Right. What can I do? Quickly now. I heard people say they ran into goblins around here not long ago. I can't stand those things. You're not supposed to be down here. Yeah, we got him here. Argonians aren't allowed visitors, though. Countess Alicia's orders. She's the thing about the lizard folk. Amuse, you say? <laughs> I thought you wanted to, to see Amude. He's off limits. Amuse, though, is just down the hall. Uh, make it quick. I have to get back to work now. What do you want? Why should I tell you where it is? Here I sit in Leowin's dungeon while you are free. What will you do for Amusai if I tell you? You'd do that for me? Maybe you guild types aren't so bad after all. Okay, it's a deal. Give me a lockpick, and I'll tell you about the ring. 
Tunlit freedom. Yes, I stole that ring from Adaji. When I went to sell it, the fence told me I was too hot for him. He showed me an inscription on the inside, to Alessia. That had to be the Countess of Leowin. The damn ring was stolen property. Well, I figured I would ransom it back to the Countess, except she tricked me. I was arrested for theft, and she kept the ring. Uh, the Countess rarely leaves the castle. Good luck getting it back. I owe you a debt of gratitude. You look lost. Evening. Good evening. What's the news in the other parts of today? Hello there. It looks thievy. Why does the prey approach me? Does the hunter have this one's ring? Amuse tried to sell it to Alicia Caro. Ah, stupid lizard. Adarji uses the ring much more wisely. I use it to collect and sell information. That ring can be used to read private messages the Count writes. Get me that ring. Steal it from Alicia Caro if necessary. Just bring me the ring. I will pay double. Swift Hunt. I'm saving up. So, Alicia Caro has recovered her ring, and now you want to know where she keeps it so you can steal it back. My pockets are a little light. I don't know where she keeps the ring, but I know who does. Talk to Ladara Mothra, the Countess's handmaid. She eats dinner in the castle at the Eighth Bell. You may have to sweet talk her. But she knows all about Alicia Caro's habits and schedules. You should know that there are other secrets in that castle. I've heard of a hidden torture chamber. They say that Count Marius interrogates Argonian immigrants from Black Marsh. The servants whisper that the Argonians are dragged into the basement and never seen again. You should stay out of there, just in case. Blessings of Stendar. Good Hail. Day. Take care. Oh. Make it quick. Lady Alessia frowns on her staff talking about her personal life. You understand, I'm sure. What? That's... Don't try... Great. You can't scare me. Let's just talk. Not bad. What? I salute you most impress. Sure, that's cute. You can't. Don't. I salute you most impress. Don't. 
talk such rot. Not bad. Great. Is that so? Not bad. Not bad at all. Is that so? Great. Don't try to manipulate me. That's pretty. Don't. My. Oh, please. That's not bad. Lady Alessia frowns. I'm listening. Let's just talk. Not bad. Not. Don't try. I salute you. Most impressive. Don't. That's a. You can't scare me. Not bad. Not bad. What nonsense. I salute. You're wasting your breath. Countess Caro is so relieved to have the ring back. It's been missing for many years. She wears it constantly. Well, not all the time. I mean, she puts it in her jewelry box for baths and at night. No proper lady would wear her jewelry to bed. Shh! It's dangerous to be heard talking about that! The Countess has a secret passage somewhere in the basement that leads to her private quarters. That's where the torture chamber is. Sometimes I can hear the screams of the prisoners when I'm in my chambers. Morning, she's at the town chapel. At the castle, she hosts the evening meal at 8. She retires sometime after 11. She travels to Coral on the Ides of every month. Don't even try to find her between the 15th and 17th. I think I hear my lady calling. Greetings, Bosma. Hi. Hi there. How are you? How goes the battle? Not bad. Heard any news from the other provinces? Many Argonians say they have been called back to Black Mile.
Why does the prey approach me? Does the hunter have this one's ring? My ring, all oh, thanks to the claws of the clan mother, you have recovered it. Is that slimy Argonian dead? Did he suffer long? I hope so. You have earned the reward. The Thieves' Guild was always good to Adaji's dearest mate. I am grateful that the memory is still honored. Let's see if we can't teach you. Swift hunting. Hello. You must be from the Fighters Guild. I'm glad you're here. I need your help to repay a debt. I'm afraid so. My father had a bit of an issue with gambling. I'm afraid he built up a rather large debt. Now that he's gone, the debt is mine. A great deal over a thousand septims. My father was quite a gambler. Quite a bad gambler. Gone. Dragged from our house in the night. To pay the debt, I'd like to sell the sword and armor of my grandfather, or I might be next. They were buried with my grandfather in the family tomb. The sword and cuirass were enchanted and should cover my debt. Please get them for me. Are you certain? I can't thank you enough. Please, though, if you decide to retrieve the sword and armor, Keep them, at least until I can repay you. I'm so grateful.
only asking for a single coin. You have returned? Good work. You are truly an asset to the guild. I will make sure the Grey Fox himself hears about this. I am promoting you to Prowler. Congratulations. I have a small problem that you may be able to help with. The guild will even pay a reward. That buffoon Hieronymus Lex has invaded the Imperial City waterfront. Imperial watch guards from all over the city prowl the streets. Hieronymus Lex has vowed not to leave until the Grey Fox is in custody. The Fox is safe, but the Thieves' Guild cannot do business like this. The poor of the waterfront are kindred to the Grey Fox and will not betray him. However, cubs soon get hungry. Soon someone will break. Many guild members could be jailed. Find Methrodil in the Imperial City. She is coordinating the guild's response. Shadow Hide the Hunter. How can I help you?
Show me what you've got. <laughs> Just warming power. Die! Oh. Ah. you yes the major's guild you say oh the count is quite aware of your presence here he simply has no interest in granting you an audience at this time now that I've seen you myself I can't say that I blame him nevertheless I shall endeavor to change his mind on the subject return tomorrow Perhaps he will see you then. You there. I have an update for you. The Count has agreed to see you, but not here. He wishes to meet you south of the cursed mine outside of town, after 2 a.m. It would be wise of you to be on time. Follow the road west out of Skingrad, through the high pasture. The mine entrance is north of the road. The Count will meet you just outside it. What? You were Martin's friend, weren't you? You were fortunate to have known him. Take care.
Just in time, mage. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I misled you. The Count won't be arriving. In fact, he doesn't even know you're here. We're not about to let the Guild interfere with our plans, for the Count or otherwise. So, you'll have to die. Don't worry. We'll put your body to good use, I assure you. Do your worst! What possessed you to think I would suggest a meeting here, of all places? At least your gullibility served some useful purpose. I knew about Makeda, but not his friends. Now none of them are a threat any longer. Despite what your council may think, I've not thrown in with the necromancers and would never do so. You may pass along that message. Is that so? Hmm. Perhaps your counsel has not been entirely honest with you. Do you really believe they sent you here for a book? No, they sent you here to spy on me! They've heard the same rumors I have about the Necromancer's cult. Tell your counsel that the next time they want something from me, they come themselves. They don't send someone under false pretenses. Yes, I see that now. I regret that Traven has involved you in this way. At least you've survived. For now. Perhaps in the future you can be trusted enough to deal with more serious matters. Now our business here is concluded. I suggest you return to your council. <laughs>